Deep Seeks R1 tanked the stock market yesterday, but here's why it's actually a good thing for American AI and AI in general. In case you missed it, DeepSeek's R1 is a reasoning model. It is a distilled model of other models, but it is very good and it was very cheap to make. Mark Andreessen, the famous tech billionaire, called it the Sputnik moment for AI, meaning that when the Russians got to space before us, and it is a big deal. This is a cheap AI model that is able to perform as well as OpenAI's O1 model, which costs billions of dollars to train. Here's why it's actually a good thing for AI in general. First and foremost, if you are a user of AI, this means that all models will get better. You now have a free option to use that is as good as O1, which is their most current model that's published Public, but remember, they have O3, a brand new model that is much better coming very soon. In fact, Sam Allman himself in a tweet said they are now going to be moving their ship dates up because of this. So we're going to speed up a little bit there, but it is free. It is very good. Most people who have only used the free chat GPT are probably shocked by how good it is. But two, and maybe the bigger thing here to remember, this is going to light a fire under everyone because suddenly there is a model out there that is very cheap and very competitive with some of the state-of-the-art models. And I think we are about to enter into the fast takeoff. So if you've watching this channel for a while, you understand what a fast takeoff is. It means that AI progress is going to speed up. And it may seem like it's been going pretty fast, but I think we are going to see competition on a scale that we've never seen before. You know, the $500 billion investment that was announced last week for OpenAI, SoftBank's, and Oracle's infrastructure project, most people are saying like, well, why do you need to spend that much money? Well, the key is, is to get to the next stage faster. If you remember the space race, that was what was going on. In fact, one of the favorite shows I've seen in the last 10 years is for all mankind, which shows you how much further we would have gotten in the space race had Russia not collapsed because that actually makes things go faster. And there's a lot of downsides of this. We have to be clear, but we are going to be seeing these AI models get much faster, much quicker. And at the edge, at the state of the art, we are gonna be seeing a ton of money thrown at it. To get back to why the stock market really tanked here, it was people's reactions that if China can do this so cheaply, then why do we need to buy these fancy graphics cards from NVIDIA or all these other companies that are investing billions and billions of dollars? My argument would be, the billions and billions of dollars are for the next and then the next stage after that in AI. They are not for the current state of the art, and this is probably a market overreaction from now.